Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this short video, we will discuss what are idempotent producers in Apache Kafka and how can we make our producers become idempotent. So if you have not subscribed to this channel already, please click subscribe, hit the bell icon and let's quickly get started. Now just consider a normal scenario of producing messages into Apache Kafka. The producer will send the write request. In this case, it wants to write X into a Kafka topic. The broker will append X into that Kafka topic and then it will acknowledge the producer. Now consider a scenario in which things don't quite go as expected and duplicate writes happen because of that. In this case, after the broker has written the message Y into the Kafka topic, it acknowledges the producer. But due to some reason, as you can see, in step number 3 in the diagram below, the acknowledgement of Y does not reach the producer. After the producer times out, it will again try to write Y into the Kafka topic. Because as far as the producer is concerned, the message Y has still not been written into the Kafka topic. Now the broker thinks that this is a new message and again writes the message Y into the Kafka topic and acknowledges the producer that the write was successful. And as you can see, now we have to deal with the problem of duplicate writes. Now an idempotent producer is what exactly solves this problem. An idempotent producer is a Kafka producer which writes a message into a Kafka topic exactly once. Let us see how it works. So what have we done here? Well, while sending any write request to the broker, the producer introduces a producer ID as well as a sequence number for that request. Now when this message is written by the broker into the Kafka topic, it also includes the producer ID as well as the message sequence number. After a successful write, the broker acknowledges the producer. Let us now come back to the failed acknowledgement case. Now in this case, when the producer retries to write to the Kafka topic, the broker can figure it out very easily that this producer ID has already sent a message with a given sequence ID. And this message has already been successfully written into the Kafka topic. Therefore, the producer sends back a duplicate acknowledgement without writing any more messages into the Kafka topic. And in this way, our problem of duplicate writes into Kafka is solved. Now, how do we actually make our producers work in an idempotent fashion? Well, the only thing that we have to do is set one of the producer properties, which is enable.idempotence to be equal to true. As you can read from the official Kafka documentation, when the enable idempotence property is set equal to true, the producer will ensure that exactly one copy of each message is written in the stream. If set to false, producer retries may write duplicates of the retried message in the stream. Please also make note of the fact that there are restrictions on other properties as well if you we want to enable idempotence. To name a few, max in-flight requests per connection should be less than or equal to 5, retries should be greater than zero and acknowledgements must be set to all. If we don't set these properties explicitly, the suitable properties will be set for us and in case of any incompatibility, config exception will be thrown. All right, that's all we had for this short video guys and I really hope that you have learned something new today. If you like the content of the video, please do hit the like button. If you like the content of my channel, please click subscribe. You can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. Like always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you very soon with a brand new tutorial.